In this video, I'm taking you with me to a few tourist spots and popular food places in Udaipur. Hi everyone and welcome to Sugar Spice Nice. My name is Shweta and in this video I'm sharing with you my day in Udaipur where I did the quintessential Udaipur stuff. A beautiful boat ride in Lake Pitola, indulging in kachoris and gulab jamun, chilling with this view and visiting a palace. Today we are at the Sajangar Palace. Now this is located 3100 feet above sea level and you get a breathtaking view of the Aravalis and Lake Fateh Sagar here. There are various points before you actually enter the palace where you can enjoy the view. Place has a lot of beautiful insta-worthy picture points. So my right side is the stunning view of the Aravalis but ahead is a place where you can see the entire Fateh Sagar Lake. Come I'll show you. So here is the lake and you have to see how pretty this part looks. Right behind me is the Sajangar Palace. Now this is known as a monsoon palace and I can only imagine how gorgeous it would look in that season. Mountains have a different charm in the rain, don't they? Built in the 1800s, this was named after Maharana Sajjan Singh. The palace is an all marble structure and is a beautiful depiction of Rajasthani architecture. When you're coming to the Sajjangar Palace, you can also come down to the Sajjangar Biological Park and take a tour around. You can do a walking tour or you can hire a golf cart. A golf cart costs about rupees 472 for a family of 5 or 6. So I've got my golf cart ticket and I'm all set to head inside. Come on! Takes you all around and you know also shows the wildlife inside. Let's talk about places with a view. Right now, you'll not believe it, I'm inside one of the most scenic cafes in Udaipur. This is called Jheels and um, you can just look at the view behind me. All floors of this cafe, I think this is like three or four floors plus rooftop, they have this gorgeous view. There's a mix of open air seating and AC seating and it's just important that you come here chill for a bit that's what we are here for and get a nice table and enjoy the peace and calm and quiet of this lake even the other parts of the cafe are so beautifully done we've just ordered a little something to drink here because it's so hot outside chill cold coffee fresh lime sodas and here i have a virgin mojito mint and ice on a hot summer day is the best thing you can have Super, super refreshing. The bylanes of Udaipur, we are actually just hunting for one place for some amazing street food. If we find it, it's going to be so worth all of this walk. Finally, after all of that walking, we made it to Paliwal and this place, so many people told me about it. Uh, I think they have poha, they have jalebi. During the evening time, they have only kachori, but I'm absolutely fine with it since that is like one of their most famous items. This is kachori ka masala. It's dal, hoti hai, hing, hoti hai, besan ka masala. Hota hai. Besan ko sekna padta hai, sekne ke baad mein dal dalni padti hai. Soap, dhania. Long curly meats, lesson or piaz ye ni dal kuch bhi nahi. Ye aate mein azwai na. Isko aise potli bana ke fir. Fir isko aise dabana padta hai. Haan. Or ground net oil hota hai mumphali wala. Haan. Usme fry hoti hai. Haan. So these kachoris have been frying in oil for a while and he's actually turning them to ensure that they are fried both sides really well through and through and you can see how the colour has changed since we saw them go in. They're now looking like the outer texture has become crisp and uh, with the sun shining, I mean these are just looking so beautiful. <laughs> Tiki, very tiki hai. No, no. Ah. Ye dhania, 
All right, now is the moment of digging into this kachori. So they actually crush the kachori and then add the chutneys. I think the first thing that hits you is the crunch of the outer texture. Like it's so perfectly flaky. You can see the flakiness, the khasta pan. And the filling inside feels very, very different. Like I'm not the biggest fan of dal kachoris, but this one is definitely an exception. The flavor of hing is so strong. The garam masala is so strong. It does have like that slightly hot aftertaste, but I'm not complaining. I'm so glad I walked up for this one because this is so worth it. There's also soft inside. The cost of this kachori is 12 rupees and it is so worth it. Somebody really likes it. She's busy guys, she's too busy. So that was Paliwal. Oh my god, I am so stuffed. Now time to head to our next destination. Come on. Next stop is a place called Lala Mishthan Bandar. Now, I was recommended this place by the same Paliwal wale uncle who gave me that yummy yummy kachori. And here he told me to have the gulab jamun. They are fried in real asli desi ghee. So, he's just frying a few fresh. I have ordered a plate for myself, but this site is magnificent. This is the owner of the shop. Sawa so saal purani dukaan hai. Aur Udaipur mein shayad sabse purani dukaan hai. Achha. So this is one portion of gulab jamun. This is for 30 rupees. As I told you and I showed you, these are fried in ghee and the aroma is wow. And one plate you get four pieces. I'm going to be having the first one. These are wow. So much fun indulging in these. I'm going for a second one because I can't stop eating. So definitely come here, Lala Mishthan Bandar. All the address and everything is going to be in the description box. Now I'm going to enjoy this and head to the next place. Apart from Gulab Jamun, they also have other snacks. Matri, this is Gud Ka Puri. This is made with jaggery. It is sweet. So they told me that this is made for Gangor festival. Here you can see they are making more and more and more Gulab Jamun. Wow. Next stop is boating. The best thing about tourist destinations, especially these kind of scenic ones, is that they have lakes and boating and stuff. And now I'm here at Lake Petola. And this is the government run, the municipal jetty. And here you can take a boat and go around Lake Petola. These are really short boat rides, around 15 to 20 minutes. And there are two different types of boats that you can take. You can take a luxury 10-seater or a general public 30-seater. The 30-seater comes much more frequently. So that's the one that we ended up taking and uh, now I'm about to head inside my boat and enjoy a beautiful ride on Lake Petola. Come on! We're set for a boat ride. This is a very very scenic ride. You end up seeing a lot of important monuments and luxury hotels. For example, the Taj Lake Palace, the Oberoi Udevilas and overall I would say this is like a very very nice experience. In spite of being a man-made lake, it is a very beautiful lake and this boat ride as they say is a must do tourist uh, attraction here and I totally recommend it. For dinner we visited a place called Chappan Bhog. This is again one of those very very popular restaurants and very highly rated on Google. They have a thali and an a la carte option so because it was night and we didn't want to go too heavy we decided to go for a la carte. They recommended we try the aloo matar, mixed pet sabzi, roti and naan. Food was okay but the service was just way too slow. So that was it from this day in Udaipur. Stay tuned for more in my next Udaipur vlog. Don't forget to hit the like button, share this video with all of your friends and family and subscribe to my channel. And make sure you're following me on Instagram for more travel updates. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!